It was better than Christmas at first. That summer was. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is it, look. No, like this is it. We used to go all over. Me and Ted. Up near our school, down in the back woods, and all round the terrace houses where Marion used to live. And that was where we first clapped eyes on Uncle Mad. Drop this button. Get off! It was me. Not asking you to. Not going to, don't you worry? Don't want you to. Anyway, the damage is done now. Charge! Give over, Dozzy. Blinking crackers, you. You are. Blinking crackers. Am I? Am I? Get up! Am I? No! And you can get out of our garden as well. I'm going and you didn't think I am. You're nothing but a bloody bugger when you're here. Sit me on up, Sam. Shut up, you bloody bugger, and don't think my mother's taking you to the pitch to make a Friday either. So want to sit up and me on. She's not going to, you bloody bugger. He's like that, is Ted. He can say what he likes to you, but you can't say anything to him. And he can hit you, but you can't hit him back. And it's always me that has to call for him. Never him that calls for me. And if he ever gets to cop it, it's always my fault. And then again, with them being four bedroom houses, you had all your Irish Catholics and all like that. I were glad to move, I'll tell you. You would have been. Mm. There's some funny people live round mm. there. Mm. Come back here, I want you. I wasn't going anywhere. Him that rides that bike, doesn't he live round there somewhere? Oh, that funny one. Mm. No, love. They say he lives down at Parkwood somewhere. Is it him that makes that noise? I can't make head or tail of him. I think he's just a bit, you know, I think he's just a bit simple. He's not simple, he's blinking crackers. Don't you be so cheeky, you've too much off. And what were you shouting at this lady this afternoon? Shouting what? You know very well what. What were you shouting? What, me? It was Ted. It wasn't, it was both of them. 
I took particular notice. I was going down to school about him, you know. Oh, they're both as bad as each other. I'm going to get him sent away if he doesn't stop calling after people. Mm. I better get back to my furniture. They've broken a looking glass already, <laughs> you know. Oh, God. See ya. Now then, what were you shouting at this lady? Nothing. What were you shouting? Nothing, and I'm not to run away. You wait. You'll have something to shout about when I get older, yeah? She'd be sorry if I were dead. She'd come looking for me, but she wouldn't find me because I'd be dead. She didn't know I was a private detective. Mariam didn't because they'd only just moved in. Hi! We're tracing a man in a fawn raincoat. Has he been past here? I haven't seen Nabada. Just checking. What's up with your leg? I broke it. What arm? Racing down the hill on a bus tyre. How old are you? you just come and live here, aren't you? Yeah, you'll sleep down Parkside. If you look kind of man earlier, you not it? Was not clever clogs. You were my mate that I was with. Just because I'm with me, get all blamed for it. I bet it were you. Was not then. How could it have been me when I broke my leg? You don't shout your leg down, Dave. Anyway, makes a difference to your voice. What does it call you? Jackie Hazel, what they call you. Money in long bottom. Why? Is your bottle wrong? Uh, do you have any books to swap? Sometimes do, sometimes do it. Why, what have you got? This week's dandy and some beanos and radio fun, isn't it? I'll swap your rainbow for a dandy. Has it got KLK in it? Just it does, it's in every week. I know. Did you see that way she gets a big long nose cut in that queue? When she gets all that black down, did I? She was all right, was Marion. She was all neat and tidy in that. Not like some people. <laughs> If you see a kid called Ted, don't tell him about me leg, will you? Because he's not supposed to know. Yeah, go on! Come on! Then it's your back, man, off. Yeah, it's not mine! Uh, that's big rainer. When does she big gain up? You can't, it's given it to me for keeps. I want you to gain up. No chance, you'll go faster. Oh, mate. Fuck you up fast. Oh, Who's that, lass? Call her Mariam Longbottom. What is it, bro? What's he want? What's up with him? I can come into the woods if you want, can't I? Ask him if he's coming to the pictures and I'm not the week on Friday. Tell him I'm not bothered. Man, I'll just put your picture in my mother way for Friday. Get anybody's back. I could have showed you how to do a booking round call. Seen it. Maybe so, but not blindfolded. Hey, Teddy, it's that fella! Down our street. 
Not going up it, am I? <laughs> All over, we used to go. And if Ted didn't want to go with me, I could always go with Mariam and a kid called Garnet. Where do you think you're going? Out to play. You don't go out of the street. Marion, you wanted. I'm coming. Come on, they're playing all sorts. Can't believe it, they were all here a minute ago. Where's the old gun? Don't know, man. She ain't coming, is she? She can come if she wants. I queen or not. I bet they've gone to golf links, finding golf balls. Hey! If I see you lot here again, I'll skin you alive. They'll be down in the rhubarb fields. We haven't to go in the rhubarb fields, my man says. Well, don't tell her then. Up by the den. I'm not going up there. What's up? Are you, Ella? No, my man wants me. Come on, then lend him his skate and get home. We'll go up to the den, but if there's no one there, we're not stopping. Just to lend us a skate, then. I will do honest to God. On your mother's deathbed. On my mother's blinking deathbed. I know why he didn't want to go to the den. Because he thought Big Rainer might be there. And Big Rainer wanted hold of him. He wanted hold of everybody, did Big Rainer. Beginning with M. Me. Oh, that's dirty chiming. Let's get them out of custard, green flame pie. Shut up, our kid. Hey, we got raced off the golf links. Didn't we, girl? No. Did you? Did you get raced off the golf links? Did you get raced out of rubber fields as well? No, there was nobody there. You was, though, wasn't you? We never says want, did we? Oh, we never says want, did we? How old are you, Marion? As old as my tongue, a bit older than my teeth. You go out with her. I just asked you a question. Do you go out with her? No. I go out with myself. Can I go out with her? <laughs> Would you not be blocked if I go out with her? Who <laughs> <laughs> would you, man? Do you want to go out with Big Rain and Marion? You leave her alone. She's all right, Marion. Aren't right, you? What's that last say? Nothing, Nosey. Eh? You know what she say? She says you're all right as well. There must be crackers. Oh, no way. We know something about you marrying Longbottom. Don't we, Barbara? No, you don't. Ah, but we do. Don't we, our lass? We saw you. Saw me what? Look at her cracks and she don't know. <coughs> Wait, 
Wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Marion. Wouldn't like to be in yours, neither. Wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't. Why, what for? He knows what for. Told you she'd seen us our kid. Told you to keep your sodding tap shut. What's wrong? Can I take a joke now? I know what you were doing in them real bad fails. And we know what you were doing that time, so you needn't talk. You don't want to go around calling people Marion Longbottom, because you might get something you don't want. You wait, just you wait. Look his shoes off. Hey, Aunt Betty, no Raymond Garnet. Well, he's got a new cinematograph. I shall have to have you put away if you don't stop telling me lies. He has. And I know he hasn't. Well, he has, and you can ask him. He's dead jammy, he's gone, oh. He got a lollipop given last week. I nearly got it, but he got there first. Got where first? Who gave it him? That fella. What fella? That fella that makes that noise. Where did you see that fella? On the basins in the woods. And what have I told you about going in them woods? You know, only riding bikes. Well, you don't ride bikes. You leave other people's bikes alone. And you keep out of them woods in future. You play out in that street or you don't go out at all. What's up? I'll give you what's up and you keep away from that fella. And if he gives you anything, you tell him you don't want it. Gives us what? Anything at all. If he tries to give you any sweets, you don't take them. And you don't go in them public lavatories in the park neither. Don't go in them. Well, keep out. You don't go out again tonight. You stop in that garden. Something had happened that day. Don't ask me what it was, cos I don't know. But something had happened. This was the day when me and Garno found out where Uncle Mad lived. Senior Mama! Senior Chief! Senior Keith! You've got all the men to get! Get over there, man! You'll never find us. Take a man, not a shirt. Are you still pals with Ted? Yeah. Don't know what's him to me, whether he am or he out. Can be pals with me if you want. Geezer Chris then. Can't and add me. See ya. There's that kid. Let's follow him, see where he goes. Fellas. Does he live here, Uncle Mad? Uncle Mad. Uncle Sad. Uncle Dad. Uncle Cad. Uncle Rad. Uncle Fad. Uncle Lad. Uncle Gad. Uncle Dad. Uncle Fad. Uncle Sad. It is. Does he let you come in? Of course he does. Can anyone come in? Of course they can. Who's is that wheel? Wheel, meal, feel. Does he let you keep it here? Of course he does. We run it down the steps, don't we, Keith? Steps and Doesn't he say anything? Yeah. Of course he doesn't. He's all right, he's Uncle Mad. Oh, 
Sorry, I'm kid. Nothing, just an old birdie cat going there. Why? Because you can't. What if he comes in and wants to play pop? Of course he won't. One to be ready, two, two to be steady, three to be up. Mm. Three to be up. 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 Are you off getting stones, Uncle Mac? He's off getting stones. What to get stones for? Cost four. Are you coming or not? What about us thinking rotten cubs? You having to tell my man then? You haven't got to tell me any better then. Right, go on. What does he do with them? How do I know? Take some home. Does he give you out? Give us fronts ones. What, for getting stones? No, just give us it. It's my stones, Uncle Mad. Better go down there. No fear. Yeah, yeah, yellow, yeah, there's only two gone down there, that's me and Big Rainer. Cool, let's see you then. I've done it. I bet. You two coming off. Come in, just get me breath back. Have you gone any further? What's up with you? You can't get as far as this. Well, you don't think I'm going down there, do you? Give up a brown pot. In half a big dot, you want me to fetch an ambulance? Give up a man, kill him in blinking hand, I'm slipping! Oh, come on, he's slipping! Give up a girl to me hand, quick! Quick, 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 quick! Damn, I'm coming out of fat with a dead duck that time. There was Blue Mad at a play when we got back to our street. Not about us playing with Uncle Mad, but about Big Rainer and them up in the den and down in the rhubarb fields. Mrs Fawcett knew all about it. Oh, I can't play! To stop him from getting me uniform, mucky. Mrs Fawcett wants to see all them that were down at den last night. I didn't do all. Come on.
right. Now we'll see what this one knows about it. Nothing doing, Marion. What were this lot doing up in them rhubarb fields last night? I don't know. You do know we told you, pinching rhubarb, that's all. I'm not asking you, I'm asking him. What were they doing? I don't know. Did they say something about you and Marion being up in them rhubarb fields? We didn't, did we, ma'am? Yes, you did, didn't they, Jackie? Because Kathleen Fawcett and Barbara Monaghan says that they knew something about me, and I said, what? We were only kidding, weren't we, Kathleen? And what have I told you? Haven't I told you not to go to them rhubarb fields, either with Monaghan's lad or anybody else? She didn't go with me, Mrs Fawcett, did you, Kathleen? I did, not I told him I found out the other day, what? Well. She's crying, Mrs Fawcett. She'll do more than cry. Now, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I get up them stairs this minute. And stop that chopping or I'll give you something to chop about. There'll be more than one roaring before I've finished. Right, now we're getting somewhere. And what have you got to say for yourself? Nothing, they were daring us, that's all. Who oh, were daring who? Oh. Your Kathleen and Barbara Monaghan were dead in me and Mono. Oh, you lie. Don't you believe him, Mrs. Farsley? What were they dare in you? To go to the rubber fields. To do what? I shall tell you, Father. Now, what were you doing up in them rhubarb fields? Do you know what we were doing? And you two? What were you doing? Nothing. We weren't even in rhubarb fields. We just go through them, that's all. Only on where to sit down. And what were you doing in the den? Nothing, you can ask anybody. Never mind anybody, I'm asking you. I'd have thought your Auntie Betty would have learned you more sense. Well, I wasn't doing nothing and we didn't go in the blinking rhubarb fields. We just go through them, that's all. Well, you're not to go in them. None of you. You're to keep out, do you hear? Yeah. yeah. Now, what have you to do? Keep out. Right. Well, think on. <laughs> Wouldn't like to be in their Kathleen shows. <laughs> they should have told about you and Marion Longbottom that time. <laughs> Ask no questions, you get no lies told. You keep your nose out of me. I'm going to get you one of these games. <laughs> I'm ready to play, Eddie Marion. I can't, I've got to go in. If I can hold my breath till I get to 100, everything will be all right. Only it wasn't all right. It was all getting different. Jackie? Jackie! Get in this house, it's bedtime. Don't ask me why, but every time I call for Mariam after that, she was always out. Same with Ted. Never got back on pals with him either. What's he want? Don't ask me. Never seen him before. And he tried to get all the other kids on his side as well. So blinking what? I don't care. Hey, you kid! Hey, you! Absolute quiet now. Want to hear a pin drop? 
That's much better. Now, pay attention. I want all those boys who are in the park Saturday afternoon to put up their hands. All boys who were in the park Saturday. Come along now, you've done nothing wrong in going to the park. Yes, Garnet, I wondered when you'd put your hand up. Any more? Any more boys who were in the park Saturday afternoon? Very well. All those boys with their hands up will file out with Mr. Pycroft. Quietly now. Off you go. I said quietly! Simmer down now. Which one of you specimens is Mr. Garnet? Yes, well, the head teacher wants to see you. Off you go, lad. He's not going to eat you. Quite still. Does anyone know of anybody not here who was in the park on Saturday? Is anyone from 3C missing? 3B? Anyone from 3A? Come along, 3A, it's not tale-telling. I think that Patterson was there, sir. Are you sure Patterson was there? You see what, sir, because I saw him as well. Appleyard, go down to the hall and ask Mr. Webb to let Patterson come here. All right, settle down. Now then, let's see who we've got here. Pearson, Thompson, Bannister. Aren't you in jail yet, Bannister? No, sir. Right, well, we've got to do some geography while we're waiting. Have all you boys done Australia? Sure, we haven't. Pay attention, you'll learn something the rest of 2B don't know. What boy can tell me the principal products of Australia? Sir. All right, Monaghan, what are they? In Australia, wheat, maize and barley are to be had. Sheep had also to be got. Well, you're a blockhead, aren't you? Yes. Nothing to laugh about. Get that silly grin off your face and stand still. Why don't you come out when you're asked if you've been in the park? No, no, Were you in the park? Yes, Who'd you go to the park with? No, 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 no. Never mind him for the time being. Go and get changed and then wait outside the head teacher's room. It wasn't me who told him, name, so he didn't think it was. What boy can name the capitals of Australia? Sir, sir, sir. Brisbane is the capital of Queensland. Sydney is the capital of New South Wales. Perth is the capital of Western Australia. Adelaide is the capital of South Australia. Yes, and what's your name? Hazeltine, sir. Whose class are you in, Hazeltine? Mr. Webb, sir. Did you go to the park? Yes, sir. Did you go by yourself or with your mother? By myself, sir. Didn't you go with a friend, even? No, sir. Haven't you got any friends? Sir. Speak up, boy. Who are your friends? Ted Patterson and them, sir. Who's them? Monaghan and Rainer and them, sir. Were they in the park? I didn't see them, sir. Did anybody give you any money on Saturday? My auntie Betty, she gave me a penny. Did anybody in the park give you any money? No, sir. No one at all? No, sir. Look at me, boy. I'm asking who gave you money besides your auntie? Nobody, sir. No one at all. Do you know of anybody who was given money? Don't think so, sir. What does don't think so mean? I saw a lad with that gentleman, sir. Which gentleman? The one that makes that funny noise. Did you see who he was with? 
Raymond Garnet, sir. All right, little sign, you can go. Don't I want to hold of you, kid? No. Thought I did. Yeah, it's down here. I want to hold you. What for? You said you could go blabbing about this kid here being it back. I didn't. You did something they didn't lose you. What's that? You weren't blabbing on me as well. You keep that a bit spick for all right. You're that guy, or he's asking for it. Yeah, and he's gonna get it. What's up with you? Nothing, what's up with you? You want not eating or something? Why who's gonna do it? Me if you're not careful. So you and who's army? Come box keepers. So can I can beat him, can't you? Of course I can. Why well, don't you then? I will do. Let's see you then. We ain't scouted at four o'clock. It's off to the airport. Oh, who's the key, you man? Take him out, not his shirt. Quite still, 3A. I've got eyes in the back of my head. So the boy who's chewing... Did you do that, Hazeltine? Yes, sir. You stay in after four o'clock and clean it up. I thought if you kept me in long enough, they might have all gone. All right, Hazeltine, you can go. No such luck. Don't be so careless in future. Cock or in. In. Cock or in. In. Cock or in. In. She's gone down to the park with Barbara and Kathleen. Thank you. Hey, what have you been doing to your face? <laughs> you had a fight with Raymond Garnet today, didn't you? Why, what she did? It beat you, didn't they? Only just. Don't you wish you knew where Marion was? No, why should I? We know, don't we, Barbara? Yeah, but we're not telling him. Don't want to know. Have we to tell him? Have if he's coming to the rhubarb fields. Why, what's up? Sky. Umbrellas when it's raining.
truth or dare? Truth. How many times have you been at Rub Fields with our kid? Oh, not answering that. Well, dare then. Dare you ask him something? Truth or dare? Truth. <laughs> what? <laughs> what colour knickknack does Marion Longbottom wear? Mm, blue. See, he knows I'll tell Jack everything. Don't you worry. I was only guessing. Anyway, I thought you were going to tell me where Marion was. Don't you wish you knew? You can see them if you wash them up out of your eyes. See you? Oh, big rainer. Oh, do you think? Truth or dare? I've had it once. We've got to have another. Truth or dare? Truth. What colour does Kathleen wear? <laughs> oh, Barbara, Mama! Oh, you know? <laughs> Blue, brown. I've got to go in. They have spoiled spot. Teacher's pet. Lazy laugh. Have you seen all? Here comes the bride, Betty, and she's white. Here comes bride with a black eye. Go down to Uncle Maddie, he'll kiss you better. What are you going to? Don't you start. Go on, scram. So there was nowhere else to go. Except for Uncle Mads. Good job I knew where he lived. to get rid of it again. Everything happened that day. Besides me having that fight with Gano and going to Uncle Mad's. That was the day that my name got lost. Marion! Marion! Oh, I it. don't know, Fred. Have you offered seen her, Marion? Come on. Marion! You know. Put down to sit this morning. I was on the ship. What an outfit, Marion. They sent me that bloody mackerel. I tell him. No, you get him. Oh, they don't care about you. Come on. Wait on. Have they found their Marion yet? Marion! You don't go out of the street. To her at school? Did you see her? When she last time you saw her? Where they gone? Up to Perk. Oh, oh. 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 Oh.
Where is she? Put the chair. 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 Put Going where you come from, you knew him before. He takes all the kids down the street for a ride on that lorry of his, you know. I've told mine to keep away. They want to do. I thought I told you not to leave that street. I'm just off looking for Marion. You're just off looking for nobody. You get back home and look sharp. And you go straight home and you don't talk to nobody. See it? That bloody cartwheel that went missing. Oh, never mind where's at this time, Ted. Where's our Marion? There's nobody there. It's a bloody police job, this is. Get a move on, do you hear me? She was just jealous, that's all. Just because I was a private detective and she wasn't. You, wait there till I get back. And you, check up if anybody's seen her. Yeah, I can see her. Talking at all. I bet they don't have kids a cop with others, don't they? They get home. They don't, not every time. They do, then, because that bloke that murdered the woman down where my grandma lives, he got home. They don't hang everybody. I bet you, sir. What is it, Patterson? Don't they hang people for murder? They don't, do they, sir? Not every time. <laughs> you guys shut up and look to the front. I told you. The front! But you don't know who found her. Yeah, well, we do then. It was that cup of sea swag, but... Won't then, cos it was me. Well, I'm sure. You'd better get your things from the cloakroom and go off home, Rainer. Go straight home and don't talk to anybody on the way. Hmm. Little Rainer didn't do it. I know, but Big Rain indeed. to cry when you go to somebody's grave. I tried, but I couldn't. I couldn't think about to cry for.